Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. Our plugins, including the Publish Press Capabilities plugin, are some of the most popular for controlling who can access what on your WooCommerce site. One of the most frequent questions we get is about access to the WordPress admin area. The reason we get that question is that WooCommerce will automatically remove access from some users. And this is a little different from the normal behavior of WordPress itself. I think the reason this happens is that WooCommerce doesn't want to confuse some users with the admin bar across the top of the screen or access to the WordPress admin area. Let me give you a quick example of what I mean. I have a user called John Smith on my site, and he is set up as a customer, which is a standard WooCommerce role. If I switch to this user, I'm automatically logged out of the WordPress admin area. And if I try to get back in again, I'm redirected to the homepage. What's happened is that WooCommerce has automatically blocked my admin access and hidden the admin toolbar from the top of the site. If you want to fix this for one of the user roles on your site, then follow along with this video and I'll show you how it's done. To get started, you need the Publish Press Capabilities plugin installed. And inside your WordPress admin area, go to Capabilities. And I'm going to focus on that customer role that we just saw. Now, there's about three different ways in which you can restore the admin and the toolbar access for this role. One of them is to give them the edit posts permission. I don't think you want to do that because you don't want your customers to edit or write posts on your site. But if you do, then you can go ahead and check that box and it will work for you. And there is another permission called Manage WooCommerce. There it is. And this will give you access to all of the WooCommerce permissions. You'll be able to see products and orders and everything else. I suspect that will also be too much in this particular case. So I don't recommend checking that box. What I do recommend doing is going to the Add Capability box in the right sidebar, and we're going to create a new capability that is view underscore admin underscore dashboard. And I'm going to click add to role. If I scroll down, you'll see that it's automatically checked. And you'll see that very few boxes are checked. If you're a customer, you really have very limited permissions on a WooCommerce site. I'm going to click on Save Changes. And then I'm going to test this John Smith user that I showed you a few minutes ago. Now, if I test this account, I will have access to the WordPress dashboard. So if you do want to give a customer or another role access to the WooCommerce or WordPress admin area, and you find they're being blocked, then the solution is to go to the Publish Press Capability screen, make sure that you have selected their role in the top right corner, and then give them either Edit Posts or Manage WooCommerce or View Admin Dashboard Permission. You'll see that the customer has very limited permissions, and so you may want to give them access to more features in the WordPress admin area, but one of those three permissions are going to be the absolute minimum in order to get into the back end of your WordPress site. So Publish Press Capabilities is probably the best way to manage permissions for your WooCommerce site. And if you want more tutorials, videos, and plugins like this, head over to publishpress.com. Thanks for listening, and we wish you all the best with your WooCommerce site.